In this video, we're going to talk about uh, some performance implications of strings. So typically in PowerShell, it's pretty easy to find a string. You just use some quotes and you have your string. So there are some underlying things that you need to be aware of with strings. And I think the biggest one is that strings are immutable. That means that um, any changes to the string makes a new instance of that string. You can't actually change that string, even though it seems like you're saying um, taking these two strings and adding them together, uh, you're actually uh, creating new strings every time you do that. So um, it causes allocations and it's slow. So let's take a look at uh, what I mean by that. So if we were to create a really big string, you can see here that we have uh, S string and we're adding hello to the end of that string. Every single time it is creating a new string when we do this. So let's actually run this. And this will take uh, nearly 20 seconds on my machine to take um, 100,000 hellos and put them into a single variable. So um, because of that, there is a class that we can use um, called String Builder. So this uh, class is a mutable version of the string um, and it is much faster. So you can see here it took about 19 seconds that time. So let's start using the String Builder. So the string builder is part of uh, using or the namespace system.txt and you have to create a new string builder and then from there it has some methods that you can use to um, manipulate strings. Uh, so first of all we have the append method which is what pretty much what we were doing with, um, with the s variable and the plus equal operator. Uh, and in this case, what we're actually going to do is call append and just say hello. So we're going to add 100,000 hellos to this string builder. <clears throat> and then when we're ready to get the string, we will call to string on it to actually uh, grab that string. So now when you execute this, you can see it runs in um, 188 milliseconds. So it's much, much, much faster for um, manipulating strings. So the string builder has a bunch of um, cool, like, uh, string manipulation features that you should look at. Um, one is append format. So rather than um, using the PowerShell concatenation um, and formatting strings, you could actually use String Builder's format string directly. So if you're formatting a whole bunch of strings, this is like the fastest way to do it. And you can see here, I'm creating a new String Builder. I'm setting a variable to world. And then I'm using the append format method of the String Builder to format this string um, with world. So uh, the way this works is this is the kind of the index of the item that we want to format. So um, this is index zero right here. So let's actually run that once. Um, and you can see that we get hello world out because it formatted it there. Um, as an example of how the indexing works, we can do this. And then this will be index one. And if we run that again, you'll see we get hello world world. You can also duplicate the indexes. So if you want zero in multiple places, you can do this as well. All right, another handy one is uh, inserting. So this will actually um, insert a string at uh, the index that you specify. So I am appending world to my string, and then I am inserting uh, hello comma uh, at index zero. So it's going to insert it before world. So if we run that, we end up with hello world. So these are kind of like the fastest ways to manipulate strings. You're going to find a bunch of other methods on um, String Builder, things like append line, append join, um, remove and replace um, for actually manipulating the string without recreating strings over and over again. So that's why it's so fast. Another um, concept I want to talk about with strings is um, memory usage. Strings are the biggest uh, offender, I think, in the PowerShell world at least, for um, high memory usage. Um, you know, lots of properties will have strings, and strings can get pinned really easily in PowerShell if you have them assigned to variables and that kind of thing. So what I'm actually going to do is I have written a little test script here, and I'm actually going to put that in there, and then I'll go through it. I'm actually going to restart my PowerShell console. So what this is going to do is it's going to call get process on the current process, and it's going to get the private memory. Um, it's going to print that out, and then we're going to allocate um, two large strings. So you can see here um, we're generating two large strings, then we're going to get the memory again. Um, and then 
the thing that I forgot to do is we're gonna do remove variable name s s1 and then we're gonna force a garbage collection so eventually these strings would be cleaned up by the garbage collection we're just forcing it for the purpose of this demo and then we are going to output um, the memory again so this will take just a, a about a minute to run because it's generating a lot of strings So you can see after that executed, uh, we got some outputs here. So the first output was that our base memory usage before we allocated these strings was um, was 193 megabytes. Um, then we went through and we allocated these two large strings and you can see our memory usage went up by 120-ish um, megabytes. So that was just 120 megabytes of string there. Um, then we removed those variables and if you would have actually called uh, GPS again uh, before the GC collect, you wouldn't see that memory go down. Um, but once we called GC collect, it, it checked that those strings were no longer referenced. And you can see the memory usage actually went down below what we started with our base memory usage. So you need to be a little careful with um, you know, what you're storing in memory in your objects uh, because strings can really, really inflate the memory usage in your process. So in this video, we went through some um, performance um, characteristics of strings.